Hi, my name is René Bax from MX3D, and I'm here to tell you more about the WAMP Grant project we did for Trinity. The research project focused on hybrid additive manufacturing to reduce production lead time for repair in the oil and gas industry. Pipeline leakages can be a severe problem in the oil and gas industry, causing downtime, interruptions and potential risks, and they need to be fixed quickly. These leakages are primarily solved by pipeline clamps, usually manufactured by either manual welding or CNC milling. As specialized welders are becoming scarce, and CNC milling has high material waste of even at least 80% for these pipeline clamps, more automation with less waste is desirable. Robotic additive manufacturing can beat both disadvantages while keeping lead time short. We use robotic wire arc additive manufacturing to produce these parts in a hybrid way. Robotic WAM is basically where we program welding robots such that they stack weld lines on top of each other and thereby produce metal parts in an additive way. It ensures a fully automatic production with less material waste by only printing what is needed. Moreover, it enables optimized geometries and even allows for on-site manufacturing. So for this project, we built a pipeline clamp in a hybrid way by using standard pre-produced components by CNC milling and additively manufacturing the remainder of the clamp by using wire arc additive manufacturing. So we produced the sidebars and flanges via CNC to prevent the post-production. And second, we used robotic WAM for the remainder of the clamp to reduce the material waste. This hybrid additive manufacturing can produce fast, reliable and smart while preventing post-production and material waste. The research was a joint effort by three companies, including Team Industrial Services for their higher knowledge and pipeline engineering expertise within the oil and gas industry, MX3D, which is specialized in advanced WAM and printing capabilities with robotic WAM, and TIAT Europe, which specializes in inspection and testing capabilities for the oil and gas industry. As mentioned, current manufacturing of these pipeline clamps are done by either manually welding, which you see on the left, or by CNC milling, which you see on your right. This project focused on hybrid WAM. The black sidebars and flanges are done by pre-manufacturing and via CNC milling to prevent the post-production afterwards. The orange part is then printed with robotic WAM and connecting the flanges and the sidebars to make it one pipeline clamp in the end. So we're basically combining both CNC milling in black and robotic WAM, the orange part, to build up the final application of a pipeline clamp. As you can imagine, this project has severe challenges where each of these features need to be investigated deeply. But let's first start with testing. As you can imagine, for these pipeline clamps to be functional, they need to adhere to strict oil and gas certifications. The mechanical test results of the printed materials showed very promising results. And thereby, with these results, we could go forward to ensuring the hybrid manufacturing. Here you see an example of a setup of a straight pipeline clamp, and it gives you a view on how complex the printing in a hybrid way could be. This is an example of the first straight warm clamp which we did it. For clarity, so the top side, the flange and the sidebar are done by pre-manufacturing with CNC milling, while the rest of the application is printed with robotic WAM. After successfully printing the straight WAM clamp, we focused on a bended 90 degree curved pipe clamp. The challenge of this profile is the challenge of this application is that it's an asymmetric profile, which meant that we needed to use non-planar slicing and also advanced kinematics by incorporating an 8x robotic system and the pre-manufactured CNC mill parts into the build space. 
But in the end, we've managed to fix this. And actually, printing two sites simultaneously had some additional benefits, both on the optimized cooling time, which increased the speed, and second, the balanced heat input, which showed a better quality of the printed part. We use Metalux, MX Reduce Metal Excel software and control system to ensure real-time control during the process. We use the digital twin simulation to monitor the process during production and afterwards a 3D visualization of the log data measurements. As you can see on the right hand side, it showed really consistent results of this bended pipeline curve. So with printing this curved 90 degrees pipeline clamp, we show that hybrid farm is a feasible technology for the oil and gas industry. During the project, we certified the M1 Metal AM system, which is basically the process of robotic wire arc additive manufacturing. And by this certification, we take another step in certifying applications such as the pipeline clamp for the oil and gas industry. In sum, the print result shows the potential of combining advantages of the conventional manufacturing, CNC milling for precision and standardization, while using the advantages of additive manufacturing for geometry freedom and reduced waste. To conclude, the final step was milling the inside channels for the salient to make sure the clamp is functional. And we even did the pressure test to make sure that the clamp performed as it should be. So this demonstrator shows that advanced hybrid WAM is a feasible manufacturing technology for large-scale parts for the oil and gas industry. To give you more insights on the manufacturing process, we will show you a video on the white black lamp. Hopefully you enjoy it. Hope you'll enjoy this presentation. If you have any questions or need more further information, please reach out to me. Thank you.